In this city, both men and women are to leave their families and go and join a faction based on their aptitude. One will be heavily punished if caught associating with their family after the age of 18. Before we continue, please like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. A law was formulated that every human that has reached the age of 18 is to undergo a test and that the person will join a faction suitable for him or her after after undergoing the test. There are four factions and and they are shared according to a person's behavior and talent. The first faction are the erudite and they value knowledge more than anything else. The second factions are the farmers, they are kind and have good hearts. The third faction are the honest faction they tell the truth even when you don't want them to tell the truth. The last faction are the protectors, they protect the city and maintain law and order. Kellen a young girl who has just turned 18 can be seen anxious because she doesn't know the faction that she will join and she also know that once she joins a faction that faction will be her family and she will not be allowed to have contact with her parents again. Her parents consoled her and told her that the test will show the faction that fits her the most and that she will like the faction that will be given to her. The next day, which is the day for the text, Kellen went for the test. There were many other people who came for the test and they were called in to take the test one after the other. When it was Kellen's turn the person in charge of testing them told her that she will be able to see what is happening in her head and that her faction will be determined based on how she solved the problem that she will face. She gave Kellen an injection and Kellen slowly lost consciousness. Kellen saw herself in an unfamiliar place and saw hundreds of herself. She looked to her front and saw a dog. The dog was friendly at first, but when she looked away and looked back the she saw a small girl running and the dog chased her to bite her. Kellen chased the dog and jumped on top of the dog. She sank with the dog and she immediately woke up. The lady that was conducting the test on her hurriedly told her to get up and that she should never tell anyone the result of her test if not she will be killed. Kellen was confused and asked her why. And the lady told her that based on the result of the test that she doesn't belong to any faction instead she is a divergent and that the higher-ups will feels that divergent is a threat to them and that is why they kill any divergent they discover. The lady told Kellen not to tell anyone including her parents. When Kellen got back home she told her parents that her faction is protectors. Her brother got the honesty faction and he was very happy that night. The next day, which was the day they are to officially join their faction the whole faction gathered waiting to accept new members that will join their faction. Claire a lady who seemed to weld the highest authority in the city after speaking to the crowd exited the stage and another man came in. The man started calling the names of people that are joining new factions. Anyone that is being called will come up and drop his or her blood in a bowl representing the faction that the person was assigned and if the blood boiled it means that the person is truly in that faction. Kellen was very anxious when she was called because she doesn't know whether her own will work because she doesn't belong to any faction. She walked to the faction that represent the protector's faction and dripped her blood on it and the blood boiled. She was relieved and went to seat where protectors are seating. Once a person is accepted into a faction the person will take his or her faction as his i her family and is not allowed to associate with their original families again so Kellen followed the protector's faction and went home. They all entered a train and the train drove away. After the train has gone for some distance the person leading them who is an old member of the faction told them to follow him and jump down from the moving train into a building. The newly accepted members of the faction were afraid, but when they saw that the train is already passing the building they all started jumping, Kellen also joined them and jumped. The old member of the faction took them to a hole that is very deep that they cannot see the ending and told them to jump into it and that anyone who decide not to jump will no longer be a member of the protector's faction and will be factionless. Kellen volunteered to jump girl and under the gaze of the others she jumped into the hole. She fell into a net and was helped out by members of the protector's faction's THAR already waiting, with Kellen making the first move others also zoomed in. After they have all jumped in they were taken to their hostel and were told that that is where they will be sleeping both men and women. They given the dress of the faction and their old clothes were burned. During dinner as all of them were eating they were told that their real training will start tomorrow and that the last five people with the lowest point will be eliminated after the training. The next day the training started, Kellen did not do well that day and her name was the last in the list but as the training progressed her name started going up the list. One of the new members who was the last sixth in the list saw how Kellen's name was going up in the list and felt threatened, he felt that Kellen will become the sixth person and he will go down to the fifth therefore he decided to kill Kellen but as he was trying to kill her one of their instructor who was the one training them came and saved Kellen. 
The name of the instructor is Richard and he has already noticed that Kellen is a divergent but he didn't want to expose her. After the training Kellen was able to pass the training, they were told that their final training which will be conducted by Claire the lady with the highest authority in the city. Richard who already know that Kellen is a divergent came to her and told her that he wants to help her prepare for the final training and the training focus on finding out whether Q person is a divergent or not and that she will be killed if she failed the test. Kellen asked him why divergent are being killed and Richard told her that Claire feels threatened by the power a divergent possesses and that is why she kills them. Richard started doing training for her, he told her that a divergent has the power to break away from the illusion that they are putting her in during the test and that she should not break away from the illusion even if she is dying and that she should find a way to solve any problem that she is facing in the illusion instead of breaking free. The day for the training Kellen was injected with the illusion drug Anne and she lost consciousness. She found herself in a glass without any way out, and water was slowly filling the glass trying to drown her. Soon the glass was filled with water and she couldn't breathe, but she still didn't want to break away from the illusion because if she did Claire will know that she is a divergent and will give order for her to be killed. She started searching for a how to open the glass and just when she was about to be out of oxygen she found a way to open the glass. She immediately woke up and the people around started clapping for her. She was told that she has passed the test and is now officially a member of the protector's faction. Something was inserted inside their body and they were told that the thing is a tracking device, but unknown to them, what was inserted inside their body was a device that will be used to control them. The farmer's faction has recently started protesting that they are not been treated equally with the smart people's faction and that they want the city leader to change to other faction and that the smart people's faction have led for a long time. Claire who is a member of the smart people's faction and also the leader ordered the protector's faction to go and arrest everyone in the farmer's faction and to kill anyone who tried to resist. All of them are now being controlled so they went to execute the order without asking any questions. The controlling device didn't have any effect on Kellen and so she was not controlled but one of the instructor who hate her discovered that she was not obeying the order and then realized that she is a divergent and that even Richard Kellen's instructor is a divergent. Both of them tried to resist but they were still captured and brought to Claire. Claire ordered that Richard should be arrested and that Kellen should be killed. Kellen was taken to where she will be killed but just as she was about to be killed her mother who is also among the farmer's faction came and shot the two protector faction that wanted to kill Kellen. She told Kellen to follow her and they ran away but as they were running Kellen's mother was shot and she died. Kellen sad and started crying but when she saw that the people chasing them are getting closer she continued running. She ran to the place that her mother told her to go before she died and there she reunited with her father and brother. With anger, Kellen went to the base of the protector faction to kill Claire. When she got there she saw that they had managed to put Richard under their control as well and they ordered Richard to kill her. Both of them started fighting and as Richard was about to kill her she told Richard that it is her and that he should wake up. Hearing her voice Richard regained himself and started fighting other protector faction that are working for Claire with Kellen. Both of them killed them all and he immediately pinned Claire's hand to the screen of the monitor just as she was about to control all the protector faction under her control to kill all the farmer's faction that the has captured. They injected the controlling device on her body and made her delete all the data of the people that she has already controlled. Immediately she deleted it all the protector faction that has been controlled by her regained their selves and became confused why they captured the farmer's faction. After deleting the data Claire also regained herself and immediately attacked Kellen with anger when she realized that the data that she has worked had for has been deleted but they easily knocked her out and left. The end, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this thank you.